always look straight ahead. Your ears level gives you great balance, and your ears are lined up in the inside of your ankles. So you don't have to be real wide. You just have to be about as wide as your ears to do any swing. Yeah, very nice. Now lift it up. Hear it? With no effort. Now turn it over the other way and do it. Work it the same way with the little movements. Yeah. Now flip that ball to your other forearm by straightening your elbow, not your wrist. Oh, like that. Uh, now whip it. Harder. Very good. That's better. Okay. Now what you're doing is you're going to think of the club as the same thing. Believe that the buck cap has that yellow ball. So you're just bringing that from here to here by extension of this right hand elbow. Okay. Right elbow and hand. Push. Yeah. Oh, okay. Unlock. Whatever. Throw. The way I look at it. Throw. Whatever. Okay. Is it? Is it a push? Yeah. But your push pull. There is no one or the other like that. Right. I I teach you both. I'm getting you to use both sides of your body. Okay. So just use that and start to just play around with it to see where you can flick it. Decide where you want that yellow ball out in front of the dress and then return that yellow ball out wherever you want. So if you want to hit high, low, whatever. You probably pulled up a bit. But I'll tell you this. That was just a short flick. 134, 98 miles an hour. Too low, though. Skinny. So change it to down more, and then flick. So that's just a little tiny motion. OK? So this is how I play golf. Now watch. You're going to be all in the same ranges. Beautiful launch, 94, 123. So I would suggest when you do this now that this is going to be your pitching widget, 120, 123, 125, say. So 120 to 125. Now, if you want to juice it a little bit, resist more with okay. your body. That resistance, that's a good word. I, I always like that word. That's a little flick. You got over it a little bit with the handle. But look at the distance. What does that feel like to you? 138 is your longest one at 100 miles an hour. What's that feel like? Feel like I had. <laughs> I didn't feel the ball. You felt nothing. Uh-huh. So you feel less effort. Yeah. Okay. You hovered. I would suggest you go back to getting a routine of banging that club okay, and yeah. then do it. So what we're doing is we're building element upon element upon element. You, it's like a layer cake. Very nice. See, there's your consistent 125, carry 120, 95. That's a nice. That was a great swing. Short, compact. Your torso turned. So from what I saw, that's a nice swing. 130. So now you're repeating again. All right. So now do this like this. See how my, if you hold your hands up, take the club out. Let's take that away. See how my elbow is higher on the left side? Mm-hmm. Now just extend your right elbow. See how they roll, the elbows roll? Okay. When I showed that video of feeling of coming over the top of the bat, right. that's what it feels like. Okay. In baseball, what you do is you would lead with your box elbow. So come up like this. See the box elbow? Mm-hmm. So we turn into the zone, and then we let go. Okay. Not that way, that way. Okay. If you let this go, this hand this way, watch this. Okay, come out this way. You're fi- well, go into, uh, go into uh, yeah. Come out this way. No pain, right? right. Come this way. Yeah. A little bit. Now come this way. This is what you were doing when you right. started. Yeah. That will wreck you. That's why I didn't see it. Yeah. That was it. Yeah. So if you start to learn this, and you can line up a ball from now on even, 
and you start to learn and start to shoot out more, this will feel like you're coming this way. It's not. The arc is going to go that way. Go that way. Okay, that's fine. And then you pay attention to that last video with the machine. Mm -hmm. If you look at that video, what it's doing, watch my hands. It's not a one-armed bandit. It's two. It's down this side and down this side. That center is not a shoulder. That center is here on that machine. So what it's doing is it turns 20 degrees this way and then 60 this way. And it's actually a little more than that. It's Mike Austin's eight inches to here. Okay. And then the body is thrown into here, just like we were going to toss a ball and catch it against a wall. So that's all it's doing. But it's got a belt, right? So the belt's doing this. The belt's running this way. This side first. And then this belt kicks in and reverses. Okay. So it's this. So what I did was I patterned that. When I found that, I go, oh, with a still body, not this. The body down below on that machine doesn't move. It just sits there. So all you're doing is moving this belly button to here and the belly button to here. And then the belt drives the 90 degrees of that apparatus we put on your hand. That's it. So it's 90, 90, 90, 90. That's all it is. Piece of cake. You can use other things to get the feel. Yeah. Always slide it in and just go. Don't wait. You got three seconds. Yeah. You do better when you don't think. It takes away your ball bound, and you're killing the ball. 134, 23, that perfect launch, 98 miles an hour. So one after another after another. Now if you want the next juice of speed, roll these forearms over the top like that. It'll feel like that. So hold it up high and do the one where you feel like that. Do it a couple times. You'll feel it first. Practice. And you'll feel like that. It will not do that yet. It will not do what it feels like. Yeah, there you go. Try it. And look straight ahead so you have good balance. Yeah, now do it. Slide in and go with that feeling. Just hit it. Slide in and go. Maybe a little heavy. I don't know. <laughs> Launch was high, that's why. Yeah. It was almost a monster one, though. Swing down. If you go home, this is just one of my tools. I, you can put that over your hand and stuff. I don't want to use it. Stick that on your forearms. And it's the same thing. See how it keeps your elbow tucked? Yeah. Now go up to the top and remember how you got the 90s? Right. So you keep that there and then swing back and keep it there on the way back. Like really cock it up. So you could take anything like that and practice that at home. Okay. The only thing is you take a sponge or something. I used to do it with sponges. Okay. Like those like car sponges. That's how I learned it. These are nice because you don't have to chase it all over the yeah. freaking place. I and mean, take a little swing just to get used to the. And all I'm giving you is some tools. Yeah. Keeps you all there and just do all the same stuff. Nice. I kind of thought that was going to happen. Nice. 126.94. Do one more like that. And then we'll take that off. That feel for you is wonderful. That is hammered, hammered, hammered. I felt that. 140, on 142, 21, 101.2. I felt the compression. You hear it. Do that again for me. That is hammered. So what are you going to do when you get home? Get that sponge. Yeah. It's awesome. Yeah. 102 miles an hour. Guess what? You went up. That's your highest mile per hour. You are truly carrying over 130 yards now. Okay. 
wasn't right. It popped out on yeah. you and uh, it flew out early. Yeah. yeah. So you know what to do. Yeah. You missed? Who cares? Don't give a damn. That was just thumped. You have nice compact here now. Now you are hammering. Yeah, absolutely. Everything. Yeah. 128. 97.9. Everything's really good. You could even afford to hold a hair longer or to try and hit, get get the heat in a, just a hair up more to drop it and you get another 10. You, you'll be back to the 141. That ball was a little up, about one ball up. So let's see. Yeah, but what a strike. Yeah, it's all good. Yeah. And you're all the same numbers now. So bring it lower in your head, in your hot mind. Oh, okay. In your mind, bring it lower. It's an awesome strike. Are you okay? Yeah. Anything hurting? Nope. The more you think left, right, the better it gets. And always check your numbers. You're a little high still. So move the ball back one. In other words, shuffle up towards the target. That was it. Hear the thump? See, I hear it. I, I do it so much. 140. 105, by the way. 105 miles an hour. That's capable of hitting in my ranges, by the way, getting it up to 165. That was it. It wasn't that. Here, here's what happens, too. Your misses get better. Yeah. Watch this. That's the weird yeah. part. Now that is that is a big drop. That was 10 miles an hour, which is 20 yard drop, but you're at 120. Mm -hmm. So your normal is 140 now. And I felt like I overswung. I lost control. That. I'm too, my tempo's too fast. An effort, no, 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 no. It has nothing to do with that. Okay. When your tempo is, you'll find that you're gonna be the three to one tempo they're all talking about, or two to one. Okay. Um, we all are. Um, what happens is you can train that, but it has nothing to do with going back slow. Or it's this forward speed, the acceleration between your feet is what determines everything. I found out that tempo is uh, overrated. Now, do I have perfect tempo? Yes. <laughs> I found that out. I spent a lot of time training that for no reason. I found out my one was fine. Yeah. See, that's a perfect tempo. You went, even if you counted, right. it's like this. One, two, three. You can do it like Yogi did this. Yogi did this. How far did that go? Yeah. Yogi did this. Yogi was really interesting. He'd go like this. He'd line up to that line that I'm talking uh -huh. about out to the right. He'd sometimes pull to the target, but he'd go like this. Then he goes, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. So what am I doing? I'm shutting off my mind. Right. Not swinging that hard, and I'm at your 101.2. It shuts your mind off, and you count to yourself, or you do left, right, or whatever. Yeah, it's a beautiful swing. Square club face, beautiful swing. No. Put it back on the higher mat. Just to talk, prove to yourself that it has nothing to do with heights or... You're still concentrating on front of a ball and you're still determining it with the flick. Yeah, see? <laughs> 136 carry, 140 total, 102. And we started at one, you were averaging roughly 113 to 112. Uh, drivers the same. Woods are the same. Everything's the same. Yeah. This is advanced. So what happens is it's all the same. You walk in, you keep everything tucked, you turn the little belly button move, but it feels like this. It's the same thing as the baseball one. It okay. feels to me like I'm doing this, but this toe, it feel like this toe digs in on the outside of the ball like that. That's what it feels like. 
It's not as long. It goes up and spades about three, four feet. Oh, okay. So when I'm playing, that's how I'm doing it. I'm going straight and just kind of fade them into the green, just little tiny darts, and they hit and stick. It's really cool, especially with your speeds. Go like this, and I'm going to go feel like it's like this. Feels like you're digging the toe underneath the outside of the ball. Okay. About one dimple. That's what it feels like. So you go. They'll fly super straight. Okay. And they're a little shorter than your normal. So it'll be maybe 15 yards shorter. And it's like flicking a ball. And you can play with it. that it's going to be a little left but see they'll be real consistent distance and everything they'll all be the same and they'll fly dead straight and they stick thank you you're welcome <laughs> I just did that to beat you no, no. <laughs> that's okay <laughs>